Hello all, I am Dr. Ashish Agrawat. In this video, I am going to discuss about the verification of trueness using CLSI EP15 guidelines. So here this verification of trueness is by two, using patient sample, using patient sample by two method. One is using patient sample and another is using reference standard material, reference standard material okay so we will first see about verification of trueness by ep15 protocol using patient samples so you can take 20 samples that will cover the entire reportable range and you can run five to seven samples a day for three to four days okay and ultimately you have to take 20 samples right so here you can see this is the result by a test method okay and this is the result of the comparative okay so what you can do here the average will be b3 to b22 okay that is 194.75 then use the formula average c3 to c22 that will be 191.191.9 okay so that is the average of the comparative method this is the average 194.75 it is the average of test method now difference between these two mean is our bias so this 2.85 here is our bias okay and this is a x bar minus y bar okay xi xi minus yi and when we deduct bias from this here bias is 2.85 so i have to deduct 2.85 okay and i will just drag it to the last okay so here you can see the difference between two method is three and when we deduct our bias we get the 0.15 okay same way we get all these results okay now what you can do here you have to click on this and we have to get the standard deviation difference so using this formula stdev e3 to e22 that will give us a sd difference okay so now you can see we have got the bias we got the sd difference now you have to see what is the manufacturer's claim of the bias suppose manufacturer has given the claim that their bias in this method suppose this is the glucose results okay and manufacturer has given that the bias is maximum 2 okay if our bias is less than manufacturer's bias suppose we have got the bias of 1.5 then the manufacturer claim is valid but what if our bias is more than manufacturer's claim of bias then what we can do should we accept so for that there is a upper and lower confidence limit here the formula is so manufacturer claims upper limit will be bias plus t critical into standard error while lower limit will be bias minus t critical into standard error so upper limit will be bias plus t critical value that we got from the table t table and multiply it by sd upon root n okay so here what we have done we require the sd okay so that we got here we require the square root of n that is a for the square root of 20 that is 4.47 so the upper verification limit is equal to d23 that will be here a bias okay this is d23 that is bias plus b28 that is a t critical okay that is 2.861 now how this 2.861 here the number of measurements are 20 okay number of measurements are 20 and degree of freedom will be n minus 1 so that will be 19 so for a probability of 0 0.01 okay at 20 we got 2.84 and at 18 we got 2.86 so at 19 with a probability equal to 0 0.01 that means our results are we are 99 percent sure so this value will be 2.86 understand for degree of freedom 20 that is the result is 2.84 for 18 it is 2.88 so for degree of freedom at 19 that is n minus 1 here 20 minus 1 that is 19 the t critical value is 2.86 okay so you can see here the critical value is 
t critical is 2.86 so for upper limit we have a bias plus t critical value into sd difference divided by root n that is 4.47 by using this formula you will get the results of upper limit that is 5.19 same way for the lower limit it is bias minus t critical into sd difference divided by the square root of n okay so you get this what you have to do i have already made this excel sheet so you have to just enter your results here okay different reportable range results okay different 20 samples you have to compare it with the test and comparative method okay, you have to analyze with the test and comparative method same 20 samples and other race thing will come automatically okay now you can see here the lower limit is 0.50 lower limit is 0.50 upper limit is 5.19 that is 5.2 now our claim our bias is you can see here our bias is 2.85 okay our bias is 2.85 Manufacturer's claim is 2. Our bias is higher than manufacturer claim. But it is within the manufacturer's claim limits. Okay, It is within manufacturer's claim limit. That is lower limit is 0 0.50, 0 0.50. Highest limit is 5.28. So this 2.85 value is lies within this. That's why we can say the verification is verification for trueness is valid. Understand? hope it is clear okay so already we have seen if bias is less than manufacturer claim then we have nothing we have to do okay but if it is higher then we have to check for the manufacturer claim of limits that is upper limit and lower limit okay now another method is using the trueness of verification using the reference material so this reference material may be the certified reference material or it may be your calibrator value or it may be even standard also or your equal sample also okay so for that trueness using the reference suppose our reference assigned value is 50 milligram okay and what you have to do you have to replicate that sample for two times right so we got the results like 48 and 46 okay on day two we replicate the same we got results Okay, so we have to replicate two replicates for five days. Okay, if we count this all, so ultimately we got the ten count. So ultimately we get ten measurements. We have to do square root that will be three point one six, and we have so mean value of this that is average of C three to C twelve that we got forty six point nine. Standard deviation is ST dev C three to C twelve that we got point eighty seven. Now standard error that is SD upon square root of n. Okay. So SD is 0.87 divided by square root of 10 and we get the result standard error is 0.27. Now for this 10 value T critical is here the degree of freedom is n minus 1 that is 9 so you have to see this so T critical value is for probability of 0 0.01 that is 3.25 okay results mean is 46.9 okay the assigned value is 50 okay so you can see there is a bias occur so as such it is you can see there is bias occur but we have to confirm it so for that we take the upper confidence limit so that will be the mean plus t critical into standard error so that is a 47.79 while lower limit will be c16 so it is a mean okay that we got minus t critical value into standard error so the lower limit is 46 right so the our limit is 46 to 47.79 okay but our assigned value is more than that okay the ideal value is 50 okay so the limit upper and lower confidence limit okay it didn't include our reference assigned value so the verification of trueness in this experiment is not valid okay even sometimes the manufacturer give us sd assigned value okay suppose they have given us 0 0.15 so we have to use this combined uncertainty combine the variance with uncertainty so what we can do as it is given here the combined sd uncertainty that will be standard error square 
plus SD assigned square. So standard error here. So we have to take the square of this plus SD assigned value square. Okay. And then square root of that, that will give us a combined SD uncertainty. And the upper and lower verification value will be again mean plus T critical into this combined uncertainty. Okay. Even after adding this uncertainty, we got the lower limit that is 45.87 and upper limit is 47.92 which does not which does not include the assigned value that is 50. So again we can say that even after SD assigned value if they are given we have added the uncertainty even that our reference assigned value is not falling between the lower and upper verification limit. So here uh, this method is not verified for this experiment. Okay, trueness is trueness is not validated okay so there is a bias that occurs here okay there is some systemic error with this method right so we have done verification of trueness okay, or verification accuracy using patient samples and using reference material Okay, in patient sample we use the PET test. Okay, when we run 20 samples, okay, with test and comparative method. Means of the test and comparative method, the difference between these two will be our bias. And that bias, if it is more than manufacturer claim, in that case, we can use the upper and lower confidence limit that will be bias plus critical into standard error or lower limit will be bias minus t critical value into standard error and if our bias is fall between this upper and lower verification limit okay it is included our bias is included in upper and lower limit confidence limit that we can say verification claim is valid okay and another method is using the reference method reference material using the reference material and suppose its assigned value is 50 and we replicate twice this sample for 5 days for 5 days ok and we take the mean ok plus t critical value into standard error ok and mean minus t critical mean is average of this 10 results ok so mean minus t critical into standard error if this interval okay this is the upper interval and lower interval if upper to lower interval does not include our assigned value then our experiment is not valid okay <coughs> so this is all about verification of trueness using ep15 protocol i hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button share this video subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for my future video also thank you for watching bye